Hi, my name is Gaurav Agrawal. I am the managing director of IITPL, a cath lab manufacturing company based in Bangalore. The journey has been exhilarating so far. We brought out the first commercial model of our cath lab called Pinnacle in September of 2017. And we've gone on to win 11 national and international awards, some of which include the Red Dot Design Award, uh, the Good Design Award from Ministry of Commerce, uh, Medical Device Company of the Year 2020 by Government of India, and Most Innovative Company by Ministry of Science. We also, in the last four years, have designed and developed and launched four cath lab models very successfully. We've very quickly learned from the feedback that we got from our customers and have made our cath labs more user friendly, more radiation safe, and more intuitive. Also along the journey, it's a matter of pride that today we are present in about 17 states across 67 cities. Uh, what is also extremely heartening is the fact that about 18 of these cities did not have the facility of a cath lab. Patients had to travel hundreds of kilometers, and uh, is, as is known to us, cardiovascular disease is the number one killer in the country, kills nearly six times the total number of Indians killed due to COVID. COVID has killed about five crore people and cardiovascular disease kills about 30 crore, sorry, 30 lakh Indians every year. So it is very heartening that we are able to touch 100,000 lives today and we are continuing to innovate. And the latest model that we launched in February 2019 called the Agile is now C marked and we are ready to live to our adage of made in India for the world. There were three premises uh, that uh, we started a journey with. First, we wanted to make the smallest cath lab, the cath lab with the smallest footprint in the world. The second, we wanted to make cath labs that have the best image quality and the lowest possible input radiation dose. And the third was to make our cath labs the most aesthetically appealing, something that is rarely seen for a large capital equipment. But I think we've been reasonably successful with all the three goals. Our cath lab today fits in a 250 square feet area, which is less than half of some of the larger cath labs that were available in the past. This makes it easier for a hospital or a nursing home in tier two, tier three city to install it. The installation costs themselves are about 60% lower. How we've progressed from the first cath lab model to the last cath lab model has also been a very uh, rewarding journey. Our first cath lab model was designed to largely do cardiovascular procedures. And today, our fourth variant of the cath lab is probably one of the most versatile cath labs on the market. It has the ability to do all kinds of vascular procedures. And there is a lot of software sophistication that has been added to uh, the cath lab to make clinical decision making easier and more effective. There are about 175 to 200 new cath labs installed in the country. Uh, as we all know, angioplasty is, as a therapy is deeply underpenetrated. CVD or cardiovascular disease is the number one killer. But out of 740 districts in India, less than 240 districts have the facility of a cath lab. So we see this market and our presence in the market uh, enabling a lot more hospitals in tier two, tier three, tier four cities to have the facility of a cath lab and save more lives. Uh, COVID has also impacted cardiovascular health in a big way. We are seeing a lot of COVID positive patients come back with uh, thrombus and clot related complications. And while the full impact of COVID on cardiovascular health is yet to be studied, but there is empirical evidence to suggest that patients who have undergone severe COVID are at a bigger risk of uh, clotting. Some of the challenges that we faced uh, in the very early years was that probably at that point in time, and even today, this was the most sophisticated medical equipment, capital intensive medical equipment that was produced in the country. And the entire ecosystem of vendors that had mechanical parts, electrical parts, electronic parts, X-ray components was just not there. We had to struggle to build that ecosystem ourselves. For example, we have very large castings of CRMs. Uh, typically, these were parts that were always imported, but we developed the whole IP around casting them in India, and we are proud to say that we are one of the only companies in Asia that does its own CM castings. 
There were several challenges along the way, but I'm proud to say that the environment, the macro environment, the policy environment is a lot more supportive today. We are seeing a lot more being done, especially on the electronic side. We are seeing there are uh, chip manufacturing companies, uh, ESD companies, uh, and several other electronic components are now being made in India, which is a huge enabler for a company like us. India has a total medical device import bill of nearly 45,000 crores, of which 20% is in the X-ray equipment space itself, a space that we represent. Uh, our view going forward to make India Atmanirbhar, at least in X-ray equipments, is that by 2030, we plan to have a cath lab in all the 720 odd districts of the country. And if we are able to do that, we would have significantly cut India's import bill, at least on the cath lab side. As I mentioned the earlier, our flagship model, the Pinnacle Agile, is already C marked and uh, we are ready to export. If not for the pandemic, we would have entered at least half a dozen countries. Today, there we see a lot of demand in very similar countries like Indonesia, for example, whose healthcare system is opening up, is one of the largest countries in the world, and is bringing out universal healthcare insurance. There are at least 16 countries that we've identified, and there is tremendous traction. We hope to be an export powerhouse in the years to come for X-ray equipment, especially cath labs.